Every day what we're seeing is a decline in the rate of earthquakes uh, and also in the, in the rate of, of, uh, of energy release from the earthquakes. So the earthquakes are coming smaller and smaller in magnitude. Uh, when it comes to the deformation, we're also seeing declining rates of deformation. So both the widening of the dike is getting less and less every day and also the deepening of the, of the dike. So we're seeing about, uh, we've been seeing the rates early this week were about five centimeters widening every 24 hours. Uh, but now it's more like two or three centimeters. However, this does not mean that an eruption is less likely. Uh, we've actually seen a, a similar decline um, just before the onset of eruptions in Færutarsfjall. After the evacuation of Grindavík uh, on Friday a week ago, there have been several measures taken. We have been trying to ensure that people, inhabitants, can save their valuables which is very problematic because it's considered to be a danger zone. We have uh, we put forward a, a bill to the parliament to ensure the salaries for the inhabitants of Brindavik, at least for the next three months. We are working on to secure housing because 1,200 homes, people uh, do not have uh, guaranteed housing, so we are working on that. Uh, really gathering all information we have about available housing in Iceland and making sure that it's used by the population in Grindavik. And then, of course, we're trying to ensure support, psychological support for the people that are going through an uh, extremely difficult phase. Well, what we know now is that the magma is still flowing into the dike. Uh, the ground in, uh, in Grindavik is still subsiding between the big faults. Uh, but you cannot really mm, make a prognosis. Uh, how is a uh, eruption going to uh, affect the, the, the town? Well, the, the, the intensity is really 
not abating because what has happened is that we have uh, just more small earthquakes. So what has has lessened is the in, in the, the size of the earthquakes, uh, but the intensity is still high. Uh, from midnight to about eight o'clock this morning, there were I think 600 new earthquakes. So uh, mm, the outlook is uh, rather bleak, in my opinion. People now wait in anxiety what is going to happen to the town. If the uh, eruption really occurs, it could spare the town to a large extent. It could also, the lava flow, simply uh, bury the town. So uh, we don't know really which scenario is the most like, like, likely one, but I would guess uh, maybe not a big eruption, maybe a minor or medium. And if it's northerly enough, it won't harm the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the town. But then again, the, uh, the uh, geothermal power plant and the Blue Lagoon would be uh, in harm's way. Uh, so what is being done now is to build some, uh, not barriers to prevent the lava, but barriers to redirect the lava, because you really cannot stop a lava flow. Steam rising from giant cracks that have ripped through Grindavik, Iceland, could be seen from a Coast Guard helicopter on Friday. The country is preparing for what experts believe is a likely volcanic eruption on the Reykjanes Peninsula, amid growing underground lava flows and intensifying seismic activity. Uh, from midnight to about 8 o'clock this morning, there were, I think, 600 new earthquakes. So uh, mm, the outlook is uh, rather bleak, in my opinion. Geophysicist Ari Trousty Goodmanson says the probability of an eruption is high. People now wait in anxiety what is going to happen to the town. If the uh, eruption really occurs, it could spare the town to a large extent. It could also, the lava flow, simply uh, bury the town. So uh, we don't know really which scenario is the most like, like, likely one. Aerial views of the nearby Blue Lagoon, one of Iceland's most famous tourist attractions, show the geothermal spa completely deserted. Authorities have evacuated nearly 4,000 people from the area and were preparing to construct a large dike designed to divert lava flows around a geothermal power plant that provides hot water to the entire peninsula. Check the news, check the news. I've been expecting it to start. Evacuees wanting to go back into town to pick up belongings on Thursday had to queue at a roadblock before they were either driven into Grindavik in emergency vehicles or accompanied by emergency personnel. It's like sitting in a very boring movie, but you're stuck there. You can't get out of it. It's, it's unreal. It's hard to digest. Other residents also said the waiting for the eruption was the worst part. My house is okay, but it's on the red area, so it's, uh, it has collapsed, uh, you know, the earth has collapsed about one meter or something. We don't know if we're going to have a home or what, because if it doesn't erupt, we don't know anything. 